Love Island, let's start with that. Uh, yeah. What a huge smack. I mean, that was an enormous hit. It was mad. You never think it's going to be that big. Because mm. it's not for everyone. Oh. My dad wasn't convinced, you see. What did he say? Do you want to know what he actually said? Well, we might as well. He said it was like a dyslexic wrote a play for the cast of Babe Station. <laughs> <laughs> he has a way with words, for sure. <laughs> Are people surprised that it's you doing the voice Because we don't see you on screen, so, of course, there's a... They must be quite excited when they yeah, know it's you. Yeah, when I'd done the voiceover, I found out that I sound terrible. Because, no, it's true. Everyone thought I was like, wee Jimmy Cranky's like taller cousin. <laughs> and everyone says, oh, he's so, he's like, oh, he's a heart fro I'm not, I'm, I look okay. I've got, I, I burst out of my yeah, shirt. Yeah. But <laughs> when they heard my voice and found that I had all my own teeth. Yeah. Well, this guy's all right, actually. So that was a bonus? Yeah, I think so. But you're not, okay, so you're, you're okay looking. I'm OK. Right? But, but when you stand next to the people from Love Island... Oh, it makes me feel sad. Because they're chosen pure... I mean, it seems to be yeah, just they're for They're so good-looking. They're a very attractive bunch you have of human to, beings. You can't be within about 100 metres of them. When I stand too near them, I get sad. <laughs> Not enough to do anything about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just been so popular. Yeah. And then people, I think, just want to, they just want to find love, Jonathan. Everyone no, wants to no, find they love. Don't. No, they don't. Because what the show's really about is sex. No! Seen it. I loved it, yeah. Did you watch it. watch it for the love of the sex? I've watched it for your voice. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so the sex, then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you now? 29. Oh, so you're just about to turn 30. I know, 30. All my mates have had children and stuff now, Jonathan. Yeah, yeah. And I hate them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hate the children. Oh, you hate their kids? I hate <laughs> the children. Why, are they annoying? They're just bad children? Or is it my children? mates have got no priorities now. <laughs> my mate Luke had a baby a month... One month, Sheridan. <laughs> one month. Yeah. A baby a month. Yeah, one a month. month. Yeah. That's all he's known it. He already likes it more than me. Wow. <laughs> That's hard. One month. Yeah, that's hard. That's, uh... Now, the you're laughing. We've been friends since Freshers' Week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just says he loves it. That's you know. Do you, do you have? Do you have? You've not got. Have you got yeah. babies? Dogs. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't know them. I love my baby. You don't know it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't spoken, Jonathan. I'm the voice of Love Island. Yeah. Where is the competition here? <laughs> you, you have an advantage. I feel. I love that baby. He loves it. Yeah. Could be a. P we don't know yeah. yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What the baby could be. A that's all I'm saying. Yeah, well, it could, be so that it could yeah. it's never expressed the view. But that baby could wind up on Love Island. <laughs> the baby could be a Love Island contestant. <laughs> or he could vote Tory. We don't know what's yeah. going to happen. There's a lot in tonight. There's a lot in tonight. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. all right. Uh, but you're basically you're a comedian. You are a comedian, is really what I'm a you comedian. Do. Okay, uh, and, and you did very well at Edinburgh, I know. You get a different crowd in Scotland uh, to the get down to the rest of the UK? Uh, well, in Edinburgh, it's quite weird because obviously I'm from there. And they my... know you, I guess. So you're well, yeah, boy. my mum's friends come along. Right. And is that a good night for you or a bad night when they're in the audience? Well, if my mum's in the audience and you heckle me, oh. Wow. <laughs> so she heckles back? My mum's like a middle-class mum, but she's Scottish. Well, mm. She's middle-class, but if you turn on her son, she will f so you So if up. I was to heckle you... <laughs> so if I was to say, uh, you're, you're not funny, what would she say to me? Your head would be in a bag. Wow. <laughs> by Tuesday. Wow. A little bag. Full on train spotting. <laughs> oh, mate, you'd be down the steps. Yeah. You and McGregor would be in football with your leg. <laughs> <laughs> you also do, you do kids' TV as well. I do. I now, do how do you balance TV. doing Love Island, uh, being the voice <laughs> of Love Island, and doing, because it's not for children? I went from kids' TV to Love Island with no gap. You've got to be careful you don't get the two mixed up. <laughs> You'd never get the two mixed up. I once done a gig in Newcastle, and it was, they tried to do live at the Apollo for children. I know. I know what you're thinking. It didn't work. Guess what? Didn't. Yeah. <laughs> and when I got to this gig, I thought it'd be a little gig. It was a thousand people. Wow. Well, eight year olds. So a thousand children. A thousand children. I'm the only stand up comedian on. Yeah. Headline act. Best thing they'll see. Right. <laughs> headline. Up first, two guys juggling fire. Wow. That's mm. hard to follow. I'm the headline act. Second up, Connor Maynard, the pop star. Wow. I'm the headline act. Yeah. <laughs> Third act was five pantomime horses, a gospel choir, and the pantomime horses were doing river dance. Wow. <laughs> I'm the headline act. Wow. Right, wow. then the BBC said to me, you can't have a microphone because it looks messy. So they gave me one of those, like, the pearl mics that we've got on now. Like these, yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> but I thought they would look mad if I just walk out like this. Meh. Yeah. They'll be like, well, who's that guy? Yeah. So they went, don't worry, we've given you a child's micro scooter. So you had a micro scooter to ride on? Yeah. Well, one of the I... little ones, the thin Yeah, thing. little ones. Like what a child uses. Oh. That's me now. Hi, hey, everyone, you got any Pokemon? It's creepy, right? <laughs> It was awful. I come out to silence. Yeah. Si nothing. <laughs> now, you've done a, you all have done a few gigs in your time. Yeah, a couple. You speak to the front row. So I said to this kid, I went, all right, mate, what's your name? And we're in Newcastle. Yeah. He said, my name's Farquhar. <laughs> in Newcastle, Sheridan. So I'm now speaking to Farquhar, wow. which is a sentence I never thought I'd say, because I'm a human being, not a Disney character. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I talked to Farquhar. By this point, after Farquhar gate, it's worse. Yeah. <laughs> it's like reverse silence. I go off stage, I'm in the dressing room, I start to have a cry. <laughs> I know. Have you ever you ever been so upset and cried so much <laughs> that you've seen your own reflection <laughs> and it's made you more upset? My mate Steve walks in, uh. who I write with sometimes, and I go, mate. What? That was just stand up with it, the swear words. I don't know why that went so bad. And he went, nah, man, you'd done a swear. <laughs> he told me what happened. I'll tell you, this is honestly true what happened. Can I walk? Can I get to give you full effect? Right. You so it. listen to this, right? I'm backstage at this gig, <laughs> right? I come on, thousand eight year olds. This is honestly what happens. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate, what's your name? Farquhar, that's a f***ing great name. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll do it right there. But that was an understandable response, I think. It gets, it gets worse. Wow. My mate Steve tells me what happens. I start going, oh, yeah. <laughs> Screaming, oh, <laughs> I've still got the mic on. So you... Thousand eight-year-olds leaving the venue, and all they can hear is. Well, I'll be honest with you. I blame Farquhar's parents. Yeah, Farquhar. Why are they calling that? Uh, <laughs> so you're showing you're going to be back at the Edinburgh Festival this year? Well, I think I'm going to go tour instead. Yeah. I'm going to go tour as of February. Oh, your tour is called. Is it called OK Hun? You OK Hun? You Let's have a look at that picture. You can hear. It looks like you're in disguise. <laughs> I'd sat on something horrendous, yeah. Jonathan. That's quite an expression. <laughs> yeah, it was, the idea was meant to like a GQ shoot that had gone wrong. I mean, like, this shot is... This is a disaster. This it's is my not, big break. It's only because you're drawing attention to it. If you really expand, you might be able to pop a button, though. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Come back here. You can't leave just because of that. You've got to come back here. 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 Let's have a look. Ian, it's great having you here. The tour, you OK, Hun, starts 1st of February next year, and you'll be doing more kids' TV as well. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> I mean, I was doing it until yeah. right now. Let's see how long, <laughs> let's see how long that lasts, but I wish you the best. Fabulous, Mr Ian Sterling, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Ian.